This beautiful Nigerian lady you're looking at here, Aisha Akuridi, hmm? <laughs> the winner of Miss Universe Ireland. Are you getting me? This is actually the winner of Miss Universe Ireland. You'll be asking yourself, Ireland get black people. <laughs> Guys, think again. Ireland get black people. Are there blacks in Ireland? There are no blacks in Ireland. At least, even if they are blacks, they should be immigrants. You and I agree. If they are blacks in Ireland, then they are definitely immigrants. But guess what? Nigerians are Nigerians. I've always told you, when they ask you who are Nigerians, tell them Nigerians are Nigerians. The only people that can become anything in the world. Where God said nothing is impossible for man to do, God was talking about Nigerians. That there is nothing impossible for them to do. Because anywhere they enter, anywhere they set their feet, they can become the champion. They can become the best. You understand? And you begin to see why some people are scared of Nigeria. Some people are afraid. Some people, when they hear that Nigerians are around, especially those people who have low self-esteem, those people who, who are underperforming, who think they cannot be successful, they see Nigeria as a very big threat. You know, as in immediately Nigerians are around, they already know that ah, we cannot do it. If Nigeria is involved, they will definitely do it better than us. You understand? And that's why that syndrome is coming from the, the Nigeria-phobic. <laughs> I've developed a new term, Nigeria-phobic syndrome. It comes from the fear of Nigerians winning over them. And the two countries that suffer the highest from Nigeria-phobic syndrome is Ghana and South Africa. As a matter of fact, Ghana is better because they don't have a problem. But South Africa, they are worst. You understand? Their own level of Nigeria-phobic syndrome is too high to the point where they don't even want to see a Nigerian around them. But this is a perfect example for South Africans. A Nigerian won Miss Universe Ireland. Ireland is a European country. In Europe, they allowed a black woman, a woman who has Nigerian ancestry, a woman who is half Nigerian, half Ireland, to contest for the competition. Ireland did not come out to protest and say, let us chase her away. Ireland cheered her up because, as ah, she's beautiful, they saw talent in her, they saw her value, they saw her capacity, they saw the way the girl is fine, up and down, left and right. Ireland did not see it as a threat because Ireland is not a country that is scared. Ireland is a country that believes in people winning because they know, because they deserve, because it's their time to shine, because it's their time to win. And Ireland knew that it's she that is the best, she deserves it more than any other person. There were other whites in the competition from Ireland, and you will see all the white people from Ireland, they were celebrating her. Aisha was celebrated, decorated, I mean, loved and cherished by all the people of Ireland, including the white contestants that were running up with her. As you can see, the pictures are speaking volumes. The pictures are speaking volumes. But in Africa, an African country with majority blacks, they have insecurity to the point where they have to riot, where they have to rise up and chase the Nigerian away. Why? South Africa, this thing you have done will never get off of our lips. We, we will continuously remind you that you people mess up. South Africa, you mess up. You understand? We to, we to mess up. Now, I not do for South Africa. It don't make sense now. It don't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. So why would Nigerians be that successful in other countries and they don't see it as a problem? Why don't Ireland see Nigerians as a problem or a Nigerian becoming, representing Ireland? Because you can clearly see that she is a Nigerian. She's black and she's beautiful. She's fine. She's fantastic. Now she'll be representing Ireland probably in Miss World, Miss Universe, the world or any level. But that is the current Miss Ireland, a Nigerian woman. A Nigerian woman that Ireland is supporting and putting in front. So this goes a long way. This I'm doing this video because this is a perfect example to remind some neighbors of us in Africa, some people we all call brothers and sisters, that Nigeria helped and Nigeria supported, that all Africans supported and, and helped them, assisted them to have freedom, yet they are turning their backs on Africa. 
This is the perfect reminder that that country has a very big problem. That country has a very big problem because Ireland could still reject her and say, oh, Aisha, one of her parents is from Nigeria. We cannot allow somebody that is not full Ireland to come and represent us. Uh, again, it's a black. They would have said, ah, oh, black person, Miss Ireland, black person. No, that can never happen. We will never accept. And Ireland will have all the right to stand and say that. And then the world will start shouting, oh, this one is racism. This one is racism. This is that. This is that. This is that. That's why I always tell people, you see, Nigerians better be friends with Europeans because eh, Africans don't like Nigeria. Africans are the worst people that don't even want to see Nigerians winning. I don't know why Africans see, they continuously see Nigeria's success as a problem to them. Africans continuously want to put Nigeria down. Africans don't love Nigerians. It is a fact. We have seen it. When Nigerians are doing well in the music industry, Africans will complain. They will say, let's ban Nigerian music. Let us push them away. Let's not play Nigerian music anymore. That's Africa for you. We have seen it in Ghana. We have seen it in Cameroon. We have seen it in many African countries. When the Nigerian movie industry is doing bigger and better, they will say, oh, let us ban Nigerian music, movies in our country. Don't bring Nigerian actors. And then when things start going down, they start blaming Nigerians. Nigerians are not supporting us. Nigerians are not helping us. Nigerians are selfish. Nigerians are doing things on their own. Yet the same Nigerians, when they come to other African countries to strive, we push them away because of jealousy and envy. Now they are doing better in Europe. They are doing better in America. They are doing better in the UK. And some Africans will still come and say, why can't this Nigerian stay in their country and be doing it in their country? You see, Africans always find a problem with everything that Nigerians are doing. They will never appreciate. They will never celebrate. They will never acknowledge that Nigeria is a powerful country. Is a great country. Not because Nigeria isn't. Just because they don't want to accept that Nigeria is better than them. So South Africans, you're going to learn. You're going to have to learn. That is a Nigerian winning Miss Ireland. So what is your excuse? Now you feel embarrassed, right? You feel embarrassed? It is what it is, though. Your boy, Ajum Max, you on this one. Come back anytime you're free, because there's always more beautiful and amazing videos just for y'all. God bless y'all. Cheers!